first you get established, no? Then it's a one-on-one. It's a personal journey. What is the meaning of personal? Then a mass instruction doesn't work. This is a mass instruction. 150 people attending online. This is a mass. M-A-S-S. A mass instruction. Yeah? An instruction given to a big number of people. Mass instructions don't work after you reach a particular point. Then it is a personal instruction. Personal means one-on-one. Ekta is giving you an instruction. Okay, this is where your particular two, three sticky points are. You work on these and this is the way you get here. It is going to be personal after that because everybody's sticky points are different. Yeah. So, after that, one-on-one. It's very simple. That there's nothing actually. The collapse is automatic. The only reason the collapse of the witness is not happening because of your sticky points of I, me, myself. And sometimes you're so close to your I, me, myself conditioning, you cannot see what I can see by you sharing with me. But then I don't speak too much. I will just tell you in a few words. If you get it, you get it. If your ego comes up, then you don't get it. Yeah. That's why then you have multiple one-on-ones on a good day for your ego where it is quiet and down and it's ready to really listen. You'll get the hint when I'm telling you something. Yeah. And then you'll be able to progress. So getting to the witness consciousness Mass instructions, M-A-S-S. Mass means public, given to a big group together. From witness consciousness to pure consciousness, individual, personal, because you have your personal sticky points. The journey is automatic from witness to pure consciousness. Ekta cannot make it happen. You are making it happen. Yeah. And how is how are you making it happen? You're recognizing the I, me, myself, that in me needs to drop, needs to crumble. At some points you can work on yourself, on some points your ego is too strong. I just help you identify, okay, you know, this point, maybe this point, maybe work on this. I can just give you a pointer. And then you are the one who goes back. The inner guru teaches the inner disciple with those pointers and there, aha, there you see the collapse of the witness consciousness and you recognize the pure consciousness. Yes, you have to be ready for that. You have to be willing. Sometimes the attachments are so strong, we are not willing really. We want to stay in the dream and we want to wake up. Do you see this? You Each one of you has this. No, I want to be in this dream also because I'm enjoying this dream and I want to wake up. Is it possible? If you're still struggling between contradictions in your mind, is, is there any point asking me how do I go from the witness consciousness to the pure consciousness? No, recognize it. I will also point out the same thing to you if you come to me in a one-on-one. You want to. You want opposites. It's not possible. It's either or. Yeah. So say that you come to me when you have completely moved towards one side. This is it. This is it. I don't care about this dream anymore. Yeah. Then you are ready to listen. That's the meaning of you being ready to listen. Then the ego is ready to surrender. You're not surrendering to Ekta or anybody externally. Remember, I am a dream character in your dream. You're surrendering to the pure consciousness, to the Guru inside you. 